What's up, YouTube world? We want to talk to you guys today about the exciting new thing that we got going on. Uh, we're going to start a uh, section of our website, uh, UALawnCare.com. We're going to have a, a section. It's going to be the store, basically. Anything that um, I can make little money off, you know, a little extra money throughout the year to help you guys have what you need out in the field or if you like uh, travel websites, I got a travel website. It's called uh, travelanycountry.com. So you can plan for your uh, uh, business trip. You can get your rental cars. You can get uh, you, you can search booking.com or these high um, fantastic other websites. You know, uh, hotels.com. Um, you just if you think of the the travel site, it most likely has it. It's uh, hotels combined, but my page is called TravelAnyCountry.com, and we are affiliated with Hotels Combined, and we have over several million um, hotels worldwide. Uh, think of any small country. You can plan a, tr uh, a trip. You know, If you can't find it cheap through us, you're probably not going to find it cheap at all. Um, not all the time, but quite a bit of the time. We can save you up to 60% of your uh, travel expenses for hotels typically um, through different deals hot deals you, you know hotels from uh, hotels.com has fantastic uh, thing kayak.com has a lot of fantastic deals expedient.com has a lot of fantastic deals those are some of the sites that we go through um, just check it out and let us know and uh, let us know how we can help you thank you What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about, I don't know if my last video made it very clear. So this is it. When you have certain thoughts in your head, and they're not of your own personal nature, you probably heard it from someone else, somewhere else, news, radio, or wherever you read it, on YouTube, whatever. Do what you're comfortable with. Do what is in your normal nature not these ideas that get you running off to something else, you know. You should have, um, Lawn Care Millionaire says you should have uh, three areas that you specialize in, right? Three areas. So is it um, turf management, fertilizer, and weed control? Is it landscaping, lawn care, and hardscape? Is it softscape, lawn care, and landscape design? What are the three areas that are a small enough niche in those three areas? I'm not saying that you do everything in those areas um, because hardscape is like the most general generalization that you can get for uh, paver patios and all that. Landscaping would be, that might include hardscape and softscape all together, right? So, um, I'm using really broad terms, but you can break it down to specifics and say, we're a landscaper, but these are our three areas that we focus in on. Yes, we can do the electrical work up to the hair, and the electrician will take it from where we leave off. Because we need to have the, you know, for example, um, if we do a fountain or a pond or something like that we need the electric where we need it then they can figure the rest out to the house or whatever right um, we need to put the pond in a certain way where the electric is close enough where we where we built this um, outdoor grill that has a, a TV that raises out right a flat screen TV raises out and part of it has a bar right so, um, and it all needs electric. So the electric, we lay it out, then the electrician can figure it out from there, right? Um, for example, the, the guy, he does, he's really good with ponds. He's a CFC certified. He basically does all the certifications from what I understand. He's out of Chicago. Um, Brian's lawn care, uh, Keith Kelfis has talked about him. There are people who have talked about him, okay? He's nationally known. What they do are nationally recognized, probably internationally as well. But the bottom line is this, that 
if you listen to people that are very successful, they will point you out and save you money. Um, I uh, I realized that that when I do my work, I do it in a certain way where I've learned from other people how to do it better. But there's certain things, right? Back to my original statement of there's many thoughts and all that, you know, uh, that aren't our own. They're of someone else. Like a lot of times people listen to other people, then they take that and say, hey, that's my idea. But is it really? Is it really in your nature? Did you... I guess what I'm trying to say, without going on a, a tangent too far, is there are, are thoughts constantly in our head, then there are our own ideas. There are what's in our nature, right? Our comfort zone. This zone that we're typically in, that we normally do things that we're comfortable with, that we know how to do very well. Sometimes we need to hear from other people. Of course we do. We need a mentor. Uh, Michael Jackson wasn't the greatest singer until he had a, you know, a singing coach and someone that mentored him to a certain level where he, he was very successful. Let's put it that way with all the coaching, with all the people in his life to keep him in a positive direction, promoted his business. They knew that he had the talent and he needed the guidance in many different ways from doctors to personal coaches in some way or another. Um, even with Jordan, even with LeBron James, he has some kind of a coach, you know, to a point. He has other players that he plays with to bounce back and forth, right? That's the same idea in life um, and a business. But don't get caught up with all the ideas of other people that will send you off in a different direction. Uh, stay focused in your business. Grow your business. Um... If you only need to do six hours a day of lawn mowing instead of ten hours a day, and you get you can't keep all those jobs done in a week, then you probably shouldn't have that many. But six hours, then you fill it with other jobs that makes you money. You know, a yard clamp will make you money. Um, I still do bank owned homes where they pay me fairly good. You know, city jobs they can pay you really good. You know. Um, you can do work where you're busy from morning till night and not uh, get all that work in during the week. You know, let's say you have four and a half days out of the week that you're both solid, right? Then you have a day and a half where you can make it up. Where's the rain? Where is this? Where is that? What is a full day to you? Is it eight hours? Is it 10 hours? Is it 12 hours? For me, I think I should be on my first job at 7 in the morning, 7 a.m. Okay, I'm going to be at the first job, 7 a.m. Okay. Um, then my last job can be at 7 at night, right? Or 6 at night. Or 5.30 at night. But I am still work 12 hours, go drop all the equipment off, go home, right? Be home by 9 or... 10 at the latest. Been there, done that many times. Um, landscape jobs, man. You can still work in the rain with landscape jobs if you know how to do them, right? Bank owned homes, foreclosed homes, you know. If you get a laundry list of bank owned homes, excuse me, mowing goes, as long as you're not a problem with the city most of those yards will be fine you can mow and go and that's it and you can do five an hour right they're close by and make really good money because you don't have to weed whack you don't have to blow off you're just mowing and going it takes five minutes it, it takes more time to unload the, the uh, lawnmower than it does to mow a lot of those yards, depending on what size the yard is, obviously. But um, stick to three things. 
and advertise that and be very successful at that be known and don't get down or bogged down by other people's thoughts that float within your head of going out there when times are slow um, and uh, like I have another idea and that, that's what I'm talking about but um, sometimes the ideas aren't of your own and just be just be just go out there and do be known for three areas advertise advertise market control your numbers um, the jobs will come and if you like this video give it the big thumbs up like and subscribe and as always thanks again what's up YouTube world I want to talk to you guys today about some of the interesting exciting new things that I got going on through my YouTube website to help promote uh, it's gonna help me uh, earn extra money to do more for the YouTube channel it's called travelanycountry.com check it out and save some money for your uh, summer plans this year thank you